got students who, for whom the normal secondary schooling environment is not working. They haven't gone down a disengagement pathway as yet, but there are definite signs within the school, and particularly in year 10, that this may be something where they're not going to succeed if they stay with us much longer. The, the key thing here is understanding why these young people are not engaging. Why can't they personalise education? Why can't they personalise it to take it that seriously? We've got to guide them back into themselves and for them to believe that they, that everything they need to succeed in this life is already built into them. So the tertiary high school is a, was a proposal to offer to students in year 10 a different way of completing their schooling. And so they complete their secondary schooling at a polytechnic and simultaneously they start working towards industry recognised MIT qualifications. Coming here as a choice to make a change, um, to become more successful or to re-engage in education, I think. They come up and have a meeting with tertiary high school people. It's very transparent as to what's um, expected of them and also as to what is in store for them. Oh, I just wasn't concentrating on learning or anything, but yeah, and then my head of house directed me to here. Yeah. They come here and they know that they will be playing a much greater role in their own futures than perhaps they could sense when they were in a school. Seeing what learning is like, not only that, developing a good idea of where that pathway would take them. Wouldn't it be pretty cool to be like a diesel mechanic? And I never like heard about that until I came here. They give you way more opportunities and they like help a lot more here. Like with schooling and everything. At my old school I wasn't passing and at this school I'm passing <laughs> so much more. Take it off, put it back on the pot. It's certainly one of the strongest feedbacks we get from the students is the amount of one-to-one -one time or teacher support that they get. Uh, we also build catch-up and study into our program for those who are struggling and need to get through that process. The relationship building is fundamental. Creating that atmosphere so that it is an environment that they want to be in and to show them the importance of learning and to get them intrigued into that is to connect on what is their interest, what is their likes. Lefty Lucy, righty tighty. In my old school, it was like, every time I ask a question, all the boys would just laugh. Come into this guy's class. When you want to ask a question, you just ask a question without no boys laughing. It means everything to me, because I learned better. Yeah, they cannot personalise NCEA. It means absolutely nothing to them until when we start taking them out into industry and start showing them why it is important for them to do the subjects that they are doing, to select the right subjects. It gives them an opportunity to see whether it's a right fit for them. You know, do they have the right skills, the right attributes, and do they enjoy doing that? Because if it's a career that they're going to go out there and, and work in, they've got to, to want to do it. Not only do we teach them trade skills, but we're, we're trying to teach them the attitude required to carry those skills into a workplace. Because at the age of 8, 17, 18, uh, they know nothing other than their own environment. They come here, we, we just love telling people what's in store for them and, and how good engineering is. I'm quite impressed with it. Why don't you do another one? That's um, really neat. Did I teach you to weld? <laughs>